How often do I wash my favorite bra? Um. You better be saying like twice a week. What? Um, you don't hair? have to respond to that. Before we officially start our video, look at our filming location today. I'm putting a tripod on here. Not that we have much of a view, but that's stunning. That's stunning. And that's stunning. Howdy, partners. Welcome to the Pattersons. We're having girl talk today. We're on a honeymoon. We're in Venice. Look at these like freaking awesome <laughs> windows. You can see the view behind. Stop stalling, Sam. We're getting into the girl talk. We're basically, you guys sent questions that are very, you know, what you talk about with the big sister or something like that. Sam's gonna react as I talk to you guys. This is terrifying. And hopefully these can help you because there are some questions that are like uncomfortable to ask. The first one is pads or tampons? <laughs> it's controversial. I'm a pads girly. I think they're better. I am so terrified of Isn't getting toxic like, shock syndrome. Yeah, can't you like die from putting tampons? I have heard too many horror stories. Controversial to some people, but I prefer those. You started off bad, right? <laughs> like you started off with like the worst one, correct? No? And you're gonna answer more? What do you do with period cramps? Mine are really bad. I get her chocolate. You know what? Honestly, yeah, Sam has been very, very good. He's very good during that time of the month. The first two days, we'll just kind of lay in bed because it like hurts really bad. You can take like pampering and stuff like that. You have some pampering. I do. In your bag. First two days in bed. He's very good. Sometimes like a heating pad. Like he's. I amazing. like take Sunny out all the time. He's great. I'm the best. He's my king. Does the first time hurt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. You don't need to describe it. I don't want to scare anybody, but like from my experience, it hurt really bad. The first few seconds was where it's bad, but then after that... <laughs> <coughs> I really hope that was the worst. No. Why don't nice guys ever get the girl that they deserve? Girls want a Damon Salvatore. They want someone that they can try and change for the better. Not every girl. Nice guys tend to be more available. It's so bad, but like a lot of girls will like use that to their advantage and just kind of keep them on the side in case like it doesn't because work out. Because they're the like reliable the option kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's a not... game. Like you said, Damon Salvatore versus Stefan Salvatore. Like Stefan Salvatore was a better person, but like everyone wanted Damon because it's like the mystery, the bad boy that and like turned good. If you want to get the good guy and be interested in a good guy, you have to be ready for that in your life. How often do I wash my favorite um, you better be saying like twice a week because you wear that boy all the time once a week I don't know but I also don't wear it every day <laughs> it's like me saying oh yeah I wear my favorite underwear once a week underwear is so different yeah it is actually <laughs> what's a solution for my camel toe what um, <laughs> pull it out it's not that simple Wear thicker underwear, or like they do make those like liner pads that you can put in your underwear. Pull out that wedge. <laughs> Listen, I feel ya. There's some leggings for me that happens, and it's like, can this like not? Especially like in the gym. Hates Yours it. is called a moose knuckle. Is it? <laughs> How do you manage facial and body hair? I don't have any. You facial don't have hair. to respond to that. I do shave my armpits, shave my legs, and I shave my. Kitty cat. No. What else am I supposed to call it? I don't know, your hoo-ha. <laughs> My hoo-ha. I'm sorry, people of Venice, if you can hear this conversation. Like, I really am sorry. Why do girls always go to the bathroom in groups? What happens? Yes, <laughs> why? <laughs> Listen, I can't be the one to disclose this information. This is top secret. Did Sam propose to you the way that you wanted, or did I expect more? Ooh, wow. It could not have been more perfect. It was everything I could have ever asked for. It was on top of a cliff in Monaco. Ula Tetsushian overlooking Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> and look where we are. <laughs> care about that they just care about this and like the video he showed me before like that was so touching like it was really special and there's nothing i want to change honestly Pardon the interruption, I just want to say thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know, BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. We were really excited when BetterHelp reached out because we don't really talk about this online because we try to keep our videos very upbeat, but we have been using this platform because we have been struggling very hard with grief. I'm not going to get too much into it, but BetterHelp seriously has helped us to navigate through this really difficult time in our life. Something that I really value about BetterHelp is that you can talk to your therapist however you're most comfortable. So whether that's through text, phone call, or a video call. BetterHelp works really hard to match you with the right therapist. So in the beginning, to get started, you're gonna answer a few questions about your needs and preferences when it comes to therapy. You can message your therapist at any time and even schedule live sessions whenever it's most convenient for you. If the therapist you get matched with isn't the right fit for you, then you can always change to a new therapist at no additional charge. 
With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you would get in an in-office therapy session. I honestly think this is way better because you have a custom-picked therapist, you have more scheduling flexibility, and it's at a more affordable price, so it's just a win-win. We love and care about you guys so much, and we get so many messages of people asking for advice, and we can't get to every single one of those messages, and we're not professionals, so I highly recommend checking out BetterHelp. We got you guys 10% off your first month, so visit betterhelp.com slash Sam and Monica, and as you can see, it's better H-E-L-P. Sometimes I talk too fast, so I just want to make sure you got it. I've also linked this down below in the description so it's easier to just click that. Thank you so much again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and I really do hope that it can help you guys because it truly has helped me. As you guys know, I'm always crying. I'm super emotional. So being able to talk to somebody about how I'm feeling has truly helped me and I hope it can help you guys too. So let's get back to the video. If Sam had a coworker who was a pick me girl, how do you think you would have reacted? She's got to go and Sam's quitting. <laughs> what? I guess it depends on like if she crossed a boundary. Like is she a pick me girl to you? Like if she's making moves at him and stuff. Like if I see her and she's like, oh my God, like Sam is so funny. He's my like work husband. Like you're, no. you're, you gotta go. But if she's a pick me girl to the other men at the job, so be it. So as long as it doesn't affect you personally. Yeah, but it will. But because... like, <gasps> that was a big boy. <laughs> He's back. Where? Where? Oh my god, he's in the air. That was so bad. <laughs> you would have to set a boundary with her and be like, yeah. I'm married. Stop making these comments towards me. You're disgusting. <laughs> What's the main reason why you love your dog? Because he's perfect. I know this isn't a girl question, but I just had to put this in because it mentioned Sunny. Sunny has legit changed our life. He is the sweetest, most perfect baby angel. Like, we talk about this all the time. His personality is so funny. He's we could crazy. not have asked for a better dog for us. He's a mixture of me and Sam. Like, <laughs> he's insane like Sam. When Sam goes like crazy, he's like Sam. But then like when he's sweet and cuddly, like, oh, like that's my part in him. Do you pee in the shower? Yeah. Absolutely. Do you wear your favorite underwear twice? No. That is no. one thing I will not be ever doing. <sighs> that is not sanitary. Don't wear your underwear more than one day in a row, please. No, wear your husband's. <laughs> I packed enough underwear for this trip. The first night, she goes, where are my PJs? I'm like, what? And she's like, my favorite pair of boxes. I'm like, I guess I don't have enough underwear for this trip now, so now I'm gonna have to go and launder them. <laughs> Do you prefer guys with chest hair or clean shaven? I don't want Austin Powers, okay? You know what I mean? You don't want a hairy, like, no, patty, no, 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 no. A little okay. I have no chest hair whatsoever. Um, there's a singular piece. Yeah, I prefer no chest hair, honestly. I don't shave, I just haven't gone through puberty yet. <laughs> when a guy cheats on you, is it automatically a goodbye or is it worth a second chance? Yeah, bye. It depends on you, but for me, it would be a bye bye If Sam cheated on me, I would never be able to trust him ever again. Every time he went out, I'd be checking his location. Like, my trust would just be fully broken because if he did it already, there's nothing telling me that he won't do it again. Last one. Have you ever felt overwhelmed with the amount of love that Sam gives you? <sighs> All the time. Like... <laughs> No, because I love to be loved. I could spend every single moment of my entire life with Sam and never get bored or like be like, I need space. Like I, feel I like just want to be with you 24 seven because I'm obsessed with you. I'm definitely obsessed with Monica, but I sometimes need some personal space and she's very respectful like, with that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when he's pooping, I'm like, can I come in? She literally, there's a bidet in our bathroom in Venice. She goes, can I watch you using the bidet this morning? I'm like, what? I want what? to see how it works. It's never too much love that he shows. Even though it's so much love, like it's not even normal. It's never going to be too much for me. That anyway, was our first girl talk. I'm going to go get a pizza. I've had so much pizza cry. while we've been here. I'm going to cry. Have you learned a lot about women today? I feel like I knew most of the stuff. Mm. Let me know if you want to do a part two to this mm. because we definitely be will. Wonderful. Comment some more questions down below and don't forget to follow our Instagram because that is where we ask you guys to send in some questions. So definitely follow us on there and don't forget to subscribe, click that like button, turn on that notification bell. We've been watching. He's back. He's back. Voldemort is back. We've been watching our subscriber analytics quite a lot and like 80% of people that watch our videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you're watching this video, please like just click that little tiny button. It will help us so much. It will really help us to create more of these videos for you. We will see you guys in the next video and... Hopefully it will be less uncomfortable for me. No. Bye. Bye.